Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 450 bucks. I repeat, 450 bucks. Now it comes in a few different colors. You got black, white, blue, and peach. All right, so let's go through the specs. For the display, you got a 6.5 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 405 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, plastic on the back. The phone is IP67, dust and water resistant, up to 800 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Exynos 1280 with the Mali G68 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? That's mid-range specs, bro, mid-range specs. Now on a side note, I know somebody's gonna ask me, what's the difference between the Snapdragon and the Exynos? In the real world, this is pretty much like the Snapdragon 7 series. All right, now I'm gonna show you how it works. It's basically the same, okay? It's, don't really get too hung up with the difference between the processors. You really gotta focus on how does it work in the real world, and I'm gonna show you that. Now you got six or eight gigs of RAM, 128, 256 gigs of storage, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte. Now it's running Android 12 with Samsung One UI 4.1 skin on top. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charge. You got dual stereo speakers. For the cameras on the rear, you got a quad setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide angle, 12 megapixel ultra wide, five megapixel depth sensor, and a five megapixel macro lens. On the front, you got a 32 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor, and of course, all of your Samsung features, except for Samsung DeX. All right, so 450 bucks, what's missing? No Quad HD display, no wireless charge, like I said, no Samsung DeX, and no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars. All right, here we go. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She got the day off. Now this is my first day back from vacation. I was a little bit under the weather, but we're gonna push through this. Here we go. Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, 450 bucks. Now this might be the best mid-range phone to get if you live in the USA. Now we all seen the Realme phones and the Redmi phones and the Xiaomi phones and all these other Chinese phones that arguably have better specs but if you live in the USA and you want 5G and you want your phone to work on any carrier, this is it. Okay, so a lot of those Realme phones or Redmi phones, they're not gonna work on uh, AT&T, they're not gonna work on Bob's Fish and Chips and Wireless. Whatever you got, this phone is gonna work. And ladies and gentlemen, right on cue, late but still great, White Shoes is back in the building. White shoes, calm down. Okay, like I was saying, this phone is gonna work on all of the carriers. So that's important. Now it doesn't have the Poco phone specs, okay? A lot of these Chinese phones are gonna have better specs. But if you want your phone to work on your specific carrier and you want guaranteed 5G, this might be the way to go. Now as far as the presentation, if you notice by the size of the box, Samsung is not putting the charger in the budget phones, the mid-range phones, and the flagship phones. Okay, so whatever you want to say about Samsung, you got to give them credit for being consistent. Okay, they took away the charger on the big phones. They took they used to give you the chargers on the mid-range phones, but no more chargers. All right, so the chargers are officially a thing of the past. Now, of course, I've been using this phone. I just put it back in the box for dramatic effect. Okay, here's the A53. You do get, let's see, charging cable. All right, shoes, shoes came in to work just to inspect the cable. All right, this is gonna be USB Type-C to USB Type-C. All right, shoes, inspect that for quality. Okay, now you see I'm rocking mines on T-Mobile. You got your SIM ejection tool, and of course, usual books and shit. Plug them and follow them to the side. Okay, now let me go ahead and power this up. Okay, but in the meantime, let's get a little wipe down. Bang, here it is, all right? Samsung Galaxy A53. 
Okay? Now, I'm going to pause the video. Let me set everything up. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all. So we back in. First, let's do a quick size comparison with the rest of the 2022 family. Here's the Galaxy S22. Here's the A53. You see the A53 is a lot bigger. Definitely taller and wider. Here's the S22 Plus. Now these are about the same size, but the A53 is actually a little bit taller. Okay, about the same width. And here's Galactus. Now this is the big boy right here. This is my famous phone. <laughs> famous. My favorite phone out right now. Okay, it's a little bit taller. It's the biggest galaxy out right now. Galactus. Okay. Here we go. A53 5G. First things first, the build quality. Now you will notice it does have the plastic back. Now it doesn't feel like that glastic. Y'all remember Samsung was saying glastic, the plastic that feels like glass. This is not that. This is the official plastic back. Okay, now, I'm not going to say it feels cheap, but it definitely doesn't feel like a premium, you know, $1,000 flagship phone. It feels like a mid-range Android phone. It has that plastic feel to it, which in some cases is better for you if you're looking for more durability. This one is definitely going to have that, but it lacks that premium feel. Now, I will say this. It does feel better than last year's A phones because of the thickness. Now, y'all remember I said with the uh, S22 Plus, I'm a fan of the way they made it feel a lot thicker. So it just kind of feels like a brick phone. This has that feeling. Okay, so as far as the build quality, no issues. It just does, has that uh, plastic back to it. It is water resistant, but you're not getting any wireless charge. Okay, so top marks for durability and i did happen to drop this phone down the stairs outside it had a big scratch on the back i wiped it down the scratch came off so no issues with the durability okay and i might as well say it feels good in the hands ladies you know the procedures now one of the things that i like about this phone is if you're looking for the samsung ecosystem but you don't want to spend that galactus price I, this is over a thousand bucks, but you want the Samsung always on display. You want the Samsung live wallpapers. You want the on-screen fingerprint sensor. You want the edge panels. You want all of the Samsung features at a discounted price. This is it, but you're not going to get Samsung decks. Keep that in the back of your mind. Okay. So on one side, you got your power button, volume up and down on the top, got a little sensor. On this side, nice and clean. On the bottom, there's your SIM tray slash micro SD card slot. USB Type-C charging slot and one of your speakers. Not all the speakers embedded into the earpiece on the top. Okay. First, if you do notice, let me get a little wipe down. Y'all know I got OCD. Always on display. And Samsung makes the best always on display in the game. Fully customizable. You can adjust the brightness. You see your time, date, battery percentage, and all your notifications, nice and colorful. All right, I like that. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad on your pin. Okay, now I just got a little um, cat hair right here. You can swipe up, put in your pad on your pin. Next, got face unlock. Bong, there it is. And of course, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now, you gotta remember, this is the A phone. All right, this is not Galactus. So everything on this phone just feels a little bit slower, okay? It's not going to be as super zippy and as responsive as the S22 series, but it's going to work, all right? It's going to work. You're just going to have to get used to doing things a little bit more slower. All right, you see the fingerprint sensor animation right there? Now, you can change that animation if you want. I just noticed from playing with it, it just feels a little bit slower. It's not as uh what's the word zippy all right the, the check reviewer word it's not as zippy but it's going to get the job done same thing with the face unlock bong no issues with that now since this is american phone status you swipe over you got your google feed okay 120 hertz refresh rate okay now does you, you can't really test the refresh rate with the google home page because it is constantly refreshing what you see for yourself now keep in mind this is a this is a full review this is live i right, no editing this is how your phone is going to work okay this is exactly how it's going to look 
when you're using it. Android 12, so you got all your Android 12 widgets. Right, my favorite Gmail. Of course, you got <laughs> YouTube Music, Netflix, you got your calendar, all your apps. Okay, no lag when you're scrolling through the pages. You might notice a little lag here and there with this phone. And um, that's the same issue that I had with all of the A phones. Now, I do got the A13. All right, that, that's the Supreme Peasant phone all right, from Samsung. I'm going to review that tomorrow. And when I say peasant, I mean that respectfully. Put your fingers like this, respectfully. Okay, this is above the peasant status. Okay, this is one step above peasantry. But it's, I'm going to be honest, job. this is a great phone. All right, now, it it kind of actually surprised me. I thought it was going to be a little bit slower. I thought it was going to have a little bit more lag. But for 450 bucks and the ability to use it on any carrier, keep that in mind. That's the most important thing about this phone. Because I know some of y'all typing right now, oh, for 450 bucks, I could get the Poco phone. I could get the Realme GT. I could get this. I could get that. I could get the Redmi Note 11. You could get all those phones, and they're going to have better specs on paper. But when you get home and you turn on your Obama Wi-Fi or your Bob Fish and Chips and wireless, it's not going to work. Uh, you're not going to work. And if you do work on AT&T, you're definitely not getting 5G service. And if you got Verizon, you can forget about all of those Chinese phones. Don't even watch those videos. A phone like this, it's going to work on Verizon. It's going to work on Cricket. It's going to work on Metro PCS, T-Mobile, Sprint. All right, Bob Fish and Chips. Y'all know that's one of my uh, new wireless carriers. I invested some stock into them. Bob's Fish and Chips and Wireless. This phone works on all your carriers, and you're going to get 5G. All right, let's go through some of the basic features. Now, if you use any Samsung phones in the past, this is going to feel very familiar to you. And that's another thing that I like about this phone. It keeps right in track with the Samsung ecosystem. Okay, so you got all your quick toggles. You can link to Windows. You got your power saving. You got Adobe Atmos. All right, now, if you turn on Adobe Atmos, now this works on all your Galaxy phones. If you do got a Galaxy Galactus, by the way, don't forget to go to go uh, go to Adobe Atmos and change from auto to music when you're listening to music. I, now, the speakers, they're not the best, but you can tweak them to get better sound from uh, turning your Adobe Atmos settings. All right, let's see anything else we need to see with the uh, quick toggles. If you hit more. Okay, so you got, since it's Android 12, you can control your mic and your camera. Okay, you got live transactions. You got your secure folder. All right, that's your thought protection. Okay, you got auto Shazam, PC file transfers, and scan. No Samsung DeX. Let's go through settings real quick. Okay, so for con for connections, you got NFC. Okay, you got your mobile hotspot and tethering. You got your VPNs and your private DNS. All your scumbag settings on deck. And like I said, you can link to Windows. Let's go to sound and vibration. Okay, now you got sound quality and effect. Again, this works on all your Galaxy phones. Don't forget to go to EQ. Now, if you like me, throw in a custom EQ. Maximum highs, mid mids, maximum lows. That's my usual EQ settings, but play with them, get the, get the best setting for yourself. Get your Dolby Atmos, again, change it for music. If you want to, you can just leave it on auto, but I think music has the best sound. Let's see, anything else? Okay, um, separate app for sound. Perfect for your Bluetooth speakers, okay? Have a separate app for your sound. So when you connect to your speaker, you're not getting those little text message alerts when you're playing your music. Okay, and I know this is kind of redundant, but this is, this is what we do. We gotta go through the settings. Notifications, anything to see here? Not really. You can throw on flash notifications. All right, that's an accessibility function. All right, this way when you get a, a message, since there is no notification LED, you can have it flash the screen or flash the camera. Okay, I like to have it flash the camera. Okay, let's see. Let's go to uh, display. Okay, now you got adaptive brightness. I, I tend to leave that off. One thing I will say about this phone, the battery is excellent. Okay, that 5,000 milliamp battery on a mid-range phone is perfect. All right, you're going to get all-day battery. No issues with that. Motion smoothness, 120 hertz. Okay, let's go to, uh, if you got vivid or natural, if you hit advanced, you can change your RGB. Okay, nothing really to see there. Edge panels, navigation bar. Now, for your edge panels, you see I got my usual. So I got all my tasks, my people edge. Of course, you got rectangle, oval, animation, pin the screen. Okay, you got a whole bunch of uh, shortcuts. The weather, 
and you can add as many as you want, and you can go to the Android store and actually get more. Now, there's one more thing. You got your brief pop-up. You got to hit that. Now, I leave it on detailed. I like to have detail for my pop-up notifications. Let's see anything else we need to see there. Uh, show charging animation, why not? Side key. Okay, this way if you want, where I'll start hip hop button, double press, that's your camera, press and hold. Now, if you like me and you don't use Bixby, turn your pre shoes, oh my. <laughs> yo, 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 your girl's shoes is wilding back here. Yo. yo, shoes trying to jump on the table. She missed the table. Her claws just hit my legs. Shoes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you for that. <laughs> I might get you for that one, Juice. All right, anyway, where was we? Bro, that, I ain't I, I got to front. That shit scared the shit out of me. All right. <laughs> okay, let me get it. Where was we, bro? All right, live videos, live videos. Okay, themes, nothing to really see there. Home screen. Okay, you can change your home screen layout. Okay, rotate to landscape mode. So this way, when you get in the car, you got your landscape mode. That's an underrated feature, all right? Because if you got an iPhone, you can't do that. You can rotate your home screen. That's pretty dope. Let's go to uh, lock screen. Anything we need to see there? You got your always on display. Okay. You can change the different styles. You can add pictures if you want. I got a picture. But if you want, you have different clocks, different AR emojis, bit emojis, different themes. Go crazy. I right, do your thing. Brightness. Now, this is another important feature of Samsung phones. The ability to change the always on display brightness. Now, if you like me and you don't really care about battery, <laughs> just, I want to get you. If you don't care about battery, leave your always on display on maximum brightness. This way you can enjoy it. All right, this way you can enjoy it. But if you want to, put on auto brightness. Now, if you're noticing, same thing with Galactus or any one of these, uh, any one of these other Galaxy phones. If you're having bad battery, all right, make sure you don't have your always on display set to. Uh, uh, non non auto brightness. Make sure you have it on auto brightness. That is a huge battery killer. All right, something to just uh, think about. Okay, biometrics and security. You got face unlock, on screen fingerprint sensor. You got Samsung Pass. Okay, that's what I use right now for all your um, passwords and all your lock codes. You got private share. Okay. Let's go to uh, let's privacy. Okay, now you can see what apps are using your camera, your mic, and your location. That's a nice Android 12 feature. All right, so this way, if you worry about Xi Jinping, I right, shout out to Xi Jinping. If you worry about Vladimir Putin, all right, if you worry about any one of these dictators eavesdropping on your shit, this way you can check and then get them out of here. Yeah. All right, let's go to safety and emergency. Nothing to really see there. Accounts and backup, Google. Okay, advanced features. Okay, so you can link to Windows, call or text on other devices. I showed you that with the tablets. That's a nice feature to have, especially if you got a Galaxy tablet. Let's see, uh, Android Auto, you got Quick Share. Let's see what we got on Labs, Multi Windows, Full Screen and Split View. Okay, turn those on. Motions and Gestures, Lift to Awake, Double Tap to turn on the screen, Double Tap to turn off the screen. Keep the screen on while viewing. Okay, so as long as you're looking at it, the camera knows you're looking at it, it'll keep your screen on. Alert phone when picked up. So when you got your phone on scumbag mode, as soon as you pick it up, you know you got the Pizza Hut text. Mute with gestures, okay? Palm swipe to capture. All right, that's your screenshots. Bong, there it is. Okay, I did that one a little bit late, but you get it. All right, so let's see. Uh, video and effects. Uh, game launcher, dual messenger. Okay, side key. We already talked about that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. Let's go to accessibility. Okay, so if you're hearing or visually impaired, you have all your accessibility. Let's see, the, that was vision, that was hearing, and vision. Okay, so if you like the, if you want to remove the animations, okay, you can highlight your buttons, contrast, go crazy. Okay, the software updates, tips, and about phone. That's pretty much it. That's all your settings, okay? Now, let's go to, back to your Google screen, okay? Now, here's how it looks. Now, regular scrolling, no issues, okay? Click on a let's 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 do a matter of fact. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, now this is that Exynos chipset. Okay, let's just uh, click on something real quick. Okay, now this is Apple's website. 
Okay. Y'all seen the uh, the shmoney green? All right. They go to shmoney green iPhone. I love it. Now, here's where Samsung comes into play. Open up in the pop view. Okay. Now, you can move this around. Let's minimize it. Bong, just like that. Now, we got that Apple page right there. So, now we can go to Facebook. And while we're browsing on Facebook, say we want to take it back to the shmoney phone. Bong, just like that. And there it is. Now we can open this up full screen, just like that. And if we want to, we can do split screen multitasking. Okay. So now we got Apple on the top, Facebook on the bottom. Now again, you see, who is that? The Richard, the Richard Billy right there. We got, we got the new Richard. Well, let's let's open this up full screen. Okay. Like I said, you, you'll notice the phone is not the super fast. Zippy Samsung, which if you really want to now, you could go to settings, you can go to um, developer options, you could turn down the window transitions, turn down the animations, you could get it to feel a little bit faster, but if you want that stock One UI 4.1 <laughs> skin, for 4.1, <laughs> if you want that 4.1 experience, you want to leave everything the way it is, you want the animations, it's just going to feel a little bit slower, but not by much, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll do the uh, we'll, we'll do the uh, RDA test in a minute. Okay, anyway, so that's how the web browsing speed. Let's let's try something else. Go to Samsung.com. Okay, take it over to Best Buy. See what they're talking about. Okay, you see for yourself. Now this is the Exynos version. In the real world, this is how it's going to work. Uh, it's not like the Snapdragon is that much better where you're going to be going to your website super fast and this one is super slow. That's not how it works, okay? They, they, it's going to feel the same. It's going to feel like a regular phone. It's going to feel like a nice mid-range Android phone. And again, you got all your windows right here, okay? Now you can close all of them at once. Or again, just open up in the pop-up. This is one of the features that I love. The pop-ups like that. We'll do Google. Open up in a pop-up. Okay. We'll minimize that one. Now we got two. Let's see what else we got. Let's do, uh, let's do settings. Okay, just in case we want to come back to settings. Now, as I'm using the phone, we got all the pop-ups right there. Okay. So now let's take it back over to Google. Back over to Facebook, multiple windows at the same time. This is the definition of multitasking. Okay, on a phone that's 450 bucks. Pretty dope. All right, so now let's test the dual speakers. Got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rebier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Now, this is max volume. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the sound? Not bad. How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, how the speakers sound decent. I'll cover up the bottom. Here's the top. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Definitely loud enough to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. No issues with the speakers. For 450 bucks, I really can't complain. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful AMOLED display. Little punch hole camera. Basically bezel-less. Here's how your video is gonna look. Now, only 800 nits brightness, so not the brightest in the world. 
Viewing angles are decent. But again, for 450 bucks, you really can't complain. It does look nice. That beautiful sunset. Let's keep it moving. Alright, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. <laughs> the music in this game is crazy. Alright, here we go. Let me get focused. Okay, Exynos Gaming. Okay. Now look for any lag. I'm gonna try to bust out some 360s. Oh, look, okay. Is it full 360? No lag, okay. All right. Let me get my little drift on, you know what I mean? Okay. I had to ram them up out of there. Get them out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got a 360 hold, hold that slowed me down a little. Okay, X and O's gaming. There we go, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it is. Alright, there it is. Asphalt 9. No issues gaming on the A53. Alright, so now let's take a look at the camera. Now don't forget you got your World Star Hip Hop button. Hit the power button twice. Bang, that'll take you to your camera. Start shooting immediately. Okay, so let's go through some of the different shooting modes. Okay. Now you do have fun. Okay, this is your fun mode. Okay, have fun with that. You got portrait mode. Now you can change your effects. Okay, change your book effect level. You got regular photos. So you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Okay. Let's go back to uh, video. Now from video, you got 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now you also got ultra steady. Okay, that's super steady mode. And you got more. So you got pro mode, pro video, you got single take, you got night mode, food, panorama, macro, super slow motion, regular slow motion, and hyperlapse. Now, one thing I will say, the camera on this is pretty good. Take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
Now for one of the most important tests, the RDA test, regular daily activities. You're spending 450 bucks on this phone. You wonder about the Exynos versus Snapdragon processor. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Wake up in the morning, you got your always on display so I can see the time, the date, my battery percentage, and my notifications. Now when I pick up the phone, I got face unlock, but if I want to, on-screen fingerprint sensor, bong, just like that. Now the first thing I like to do is check the weather. Okay, 54 degrees, partly cloudy, beautiful day in New York City. Exit out of that. Now look at the transitions for yourself. Let's go over to Google. Let's see what's going down on Google. Let's see, uh, actor Michael he wanted, wanted to punch Chris Rock in the face. Bro, I was on vacation. We didn't even talk about the Chris Rock situation, y'all. We didn't even talk about the Chris Rock situation. Let me take a moment and give y'all my thoughts on the Chris Rock situation. First of all, when I first seen it, now I'm going to save the full story for when I do my next stream, but when I first seen the Chris Rock slap in the face and afterwards he said, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. That was the funniest thing that I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I literally, I was a little bit drunk. I was in Las Vegas. I think that was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. And the way Chris Rock handled it made it even more funny. I could not stop laughing. But then after watching it over and over and over, and then really sitting back and analyzing the video, my personal opinion, I think that was some sucker shit from Will Smith. It looked like Will Smith, it looked like he was ready for anybody to say something like he was ready to snap and it just happened to be Chris Rock. I don't think he thought he was going to win that award because why would he ruin that night? The one night that you actually winning an award like that? I don't know. All right, but it looked like he was, it looked like he had that, that attitude, like the next person that's, y'all you, know, you ever been so fed up with something and you like the next person that, that, that says anything about something is going to get the full wrath of all of these months or weeks that people have been clowning me. Whoever says something next, I'm taking it out on them. That's what it looked like to me. I think it was some corny shit, but um, when I do my, um, my next live stream, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But when Chris Rock said, Yo, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. I lost it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real, I lost it. I don't think I ever laughed that hard in my life. And then he said, this is the funniest, he said, this is the greatest night in, in TV in history. It really was. In my opinion, it really was. Oh, it was amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I know, I just, been on, I just been on vacation. I didn't really get to talk about that slap. I mean, again, in retrospect, it was pretty corny. You know, it, it, was, it was pretty corny. Chris Rock is a G for handling it the way he did because Chris Rock, he's not just a regular comedian. He is one of the hard, most hardcore comedians out there. He could have really roasted Will Smith. There's a lot of material with Jada and, and August and all these. There's a lot of material that he could have roasted Will Smith on the spot for that, but he let him off. He let him off the hook with that. <laughs> Say, keep my wife leaving my chair. My, my, he said, I will. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, here's your Google feed. All right, so this gives you some stuff if you want to talk about in the mornings. Go through your Google feed, see what's going down in the world, okay? Exit out of that. I know, I had to get it off my chest. Next, let's do a little bit of work. So I got my Gmail set up. Let's take it over to Gmails. Here's how your Gmail is going to look. Okay, so today's market moves, okay? You know, I got to check my, my stocks, you know, check my portfolio. Let's see how my portfolio looking. Okay, Bitcoin is down, okay? Litecoin is down too. Okay, my portfolio. You know, how's my portfolio? I don't know. I, I don't know. It just it just sounds good when you say my portfolio. Make people think that you know know a little something. I can respond to this. Uh, no thanks. Bong, just like that. There it is. Okay, that's my financial buzz. Keep it pushing. Okay, so that's my work segment of the day. Now let's do a little bit of uh, social media savagery. Let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, let's go to my mentions, see if anybody talking about me. Let's see, uh, Carolina Blue all day. Okay, my man got the Galactus. There's a lot of, uh, get the Galactus with the speaking case. That's what I'm talking about. Look, man, when y'all get y'all Galactus, don't be afraid to tag me in the photos, man. I I, I, I want to be happy for y'all too, man. I, 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 you see, I, I got mine. When you get yours, tag me in a photo. When you get your new A53, tag me in the photo if you like it. All right? I did this. I don't I don't have any issues with people tagging me in photos. I want to see what kind of tech y'all working with. We all friends here. I, I want to I want to share y'all excitement too. Okay? 
Red is tough. Okay, we got to... Okay, let's see. Um, It's lovely, but green is my jam. Okay, I ain't going to front. That green Galactus is pretty sick. I wasn't really feeling the green too much until I got the green iPhone. I, until I got this right here, the, the shmoney phone. I love... Uh, mm. I know, I know. Let's see. Um, okay, red. Uh, people, there must be some. Um, there must be a, a lot of debate. Let's click on the actual tweet. Okay, so yeah, check out this. I got the exclusive blue. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of de debate with the Samsung colors. Yo, my homeboy got the white. The white Galactus is pretty sick too. Okay, anyway, so this is this is just me going through Twitter. This is how it's gonna look like when you going through your Twitter. You are gonna be going through your tweets. Okay, you're gonna be you know, there's a lot of Galactus activities. A little MSNBC notification. All right, go ahead and exit out of that. A lot, you know, a lot, a lot of nice uh, photography going on with the Galactus. I like that. Okay, <laughs> okay, what's this? Um, got the blue one. Okay, anyway, so that's how your Twitter's gonna look. Okay, 120 hertz refresh rate. Here's what it is. Wow, look at that. Nice smooth, uh, smooth scrolling. There it is. Okay, so let's exit out of Twitter. Now, if I wanted to, though, while I'm here, matter of fact, we want to save these tweets. So we'll open up at a pop-up, then we'll minimize these. Okay, so we got those on standby. Now, let's go over to Instagram. Matter of fact, before we hit Instagram, let's go to Facebook. Okay, let's see what's going down on Facebook. Okay. Now, let's look up. Uh, this is my brother right here trying to look cute. Now, if I want to save that photo, let's go over to, let's go to Rectangle. Okay, look, you see it automatically size the picture. We'll hit done. And I'll save that. You know, you know, my guy, my guy right here trying to look trying to look cute. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but you can save that and you can share it to another social media account if you wanted to. And again, in the meantime, we've got Twitter still open. Right in the background. Okay, so this is see look, there's a lot of material. I, Chris Rock, there's a lot of material on deck. And the, the crazy thing, I know I'm harping on the subject. The crazy thing is that joke wasn't even that serious. I mean, okay, she has alopecia. Is that is that what it's called? Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, it's not the coolest thing to say, but it, what Will Smith should have did, if he was a real G I, and, and not a simp, if he was a real G, he would have pulled Chris Rock to the side and been like, yo, you know, my wife, she has a medical condition. You know, that, you know, it's kind of fucked up for you to joke about it like that. You know, and then gave him the opportunity to go and apologize. And I'm sure Chris Rock would have went, went to um, Jada off camera or maybe even on camera and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even know it was a medical condition. My apologies. You would have looked like a real soldier. If he would apologize on camera, you would have, you know, snatched him up, pull him to the side, like, yo, let me talk, let me, let me talk to you. For a That's how real G's handle shit. Now, they're the, the going smack him in the, in the face like that in front of everyone. Yeah, it makes for hilarious TV, but that's not how real G's move, yo. All right? If it was me in that same exact situation, I might have just grabbed him by the collar. You know, sometimes you grab him by the shirt collar, you I add a little pressure. I'd have been like, yo, come here, let me talk to you for a minute. That's my, that's my G voice. I'd have been like, yo, come here, let me talk to you. That's my wife right there, man. You know, she got a medical condition, man. You don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? Why you holding her neck like that? Well, I think you should apologize to her. And then if he, then if he says, nah, man, fuck that. I ain't apologizing. Then you could take it to the slaps. But to just go right up like that and slap him like that, <laughs> that, I didn't like that. I didn't like, I liked it for the comedy factor, but in the real world, that, that's not, that, that's not, that's not how G's move him. I'm, I, we, we could debate this if you want. Um, that's not how G's move. It's a, lot, it's a lot of Will Smith. I know, cause I've been on vacation. We ain't even talk about it. Yo. We ain't even talk about it. Anyway, so this is how your Facebook is going to look <laughs> again. And then he won, he won the award. So way to ruin that night. You know, you can't even enjoy the, the fact that you won the award because now you got, that's the last thing everybody's talking about. Nobody's even talking about Denzel Washington presenting Samuel Jackson his award. Nobody's even talking about that. That was that was an iconic moment. Anyway, let's keep it moving. That's your Facebook right there. Let's take it over to TikTok. Okay, now for TikTok, I got to turn the volume down. Let's see what's going down on TikTok. Okay, that looked like a nice little plate right there. What's that? Um, little fried chicken. Okay, that looked a nice little spread right there. I ain't, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. Okay, what's this? Now again, we could get this Facebook. I mean, get the Twitter out of there. Okay, this looks like the hood right here. What happened at this bodega? Okay, <laughs> this is my first video since the Will Smith extravaganza. <laughs> Uh, I gotta tell y'all the full story of the. the uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta set the. That's why I said I gotta do it on my stream. I gotta set the the mood for y'all. The the way I the way I was the exact moment that when I seen it, 
I couldn't believe it. I, I was kind of drunk, but I was like, am I this drunk or is this real life? This is real life, bro. I couldn't believe that this was real life. Uh, Ke Kevin Gates, man, he, he, you know, he always walking around with his underwear, man. Come on, man. Knock it off, yeah. All right, let's see. Um, who this? Um, Logan Paul. I right, see. Now, look, I support this. All right, this is what he should be doing. Not boxing. Entertainment. And a WWF entertainment. Kind of, I, I support this, okay? Not boxing. All right? Boxing is just, boxing is real deal. You know this is this is more their speed. No hate. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. This is my TikTok. Let's see what's going down. Okay. Eastern Parkway. This Brooknam. <laughs> oh. Okay. What's this? They got they got new ways of going through. <laughs> bro. Bro. They are. Come on, man. The cops right there. Is it that serious, man? Just, just, oh, man. Anyway. All right. So the TikTok. You seen that spot? That spider thing. <laughs> <laughs> that that one is that, that is kind of creepy. I probably would have had the same reaction. Anyway, so this is how your TikTok is gonna look. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yo, yo, bro. The funniest thing, man. I'm 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 sorry. I gotta talk. I gotta talk about it again. The funniest thing about the video was Chris Rock's reaction when he said Will Smith just smacked the shit out. Of you. I don't know about y'all, but black people. I, and and y'all white people, Asian people, Hispanic people, hit me up in the comments and let me know. But black people, growing up, that's something that black people tend to say to each other a lot. I smack the shit out of you. Your parents, if you had a mom's like mine's, not only did she say that a lot, but she actually backed it up by by doing it. But black people tend to say, I smack the shit out of you a lot. Now, do they always follow through? Not really. It's just something that we always say to each other. Oh, if you do, man, let, 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 I wish he would. I smack the shit out of him. People always say that. But for Chris Rock to get slapped and then say Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me, I don't know why I thought that was like the funniest and the the perfect the perfect response. He didn't respond with violence. He didn't respond by going deeper with more jokes. Just by saying Will Smith smacked the shit out of me. I, I don't know. I lost it. I, I literally lost it. Anyway. All right, so anyway, this is a TikTok. I know. I'm 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 okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's exit out of that. And of course, let's take it over to Instagram and see what's going down on the gram. Okay, now let's see. Somebody wrote, they wrote, in, let's see what they're talking about. Let's see. For one reason, that woman besides being his wife, she saved him a lot of money on hair products. She ain't oh man, see, now, that, you know, all, all the comedians, they're going to come out. Let, let me go ahead and save that. Let me go ahead and save that for later because I need to see. I know a lot of comedians coming out right now. They, they roasting Will Smith. I need to see that for later. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, a little ads right there. Okay, we got a little police activity. Damn, they taking Granny down like that? You know, damn. Why are they doing granny like that? Yeah. Okay, anyway. All right, so what's this? Um, Okay. Little ice. Okay, I like to see the ice. Shout out to my man, Mod to Fame. I'm, I'm going to catch up with him one of these days on the streets. In these mean streets of Mexico. I'm going to catch up on, on the streets of Mexico. We're going to get it on. All right, it's my man, Trav. Let's see what he's talking about. You know, a usual shtick. Okay, look at it. Shoes, look at look at your boy. Yeah. I got the, the cat videos. You know, you know, I gotta see that. Okay, let's get in like that. Okay, now this is a family show. This is a family show. This is a family show. I this is. I wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It's, okay, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Fellas, if y'all need to, fellas, if y'all need to get the names, all right, for later. <laughs> I'm saying. Okay, let's see. Cazelles. Now these are my number one glasses that I rock. Besides Cardi's, I rock Cazelles. Okay, now this is a whoo. He just blew that raise out. Remember back in the days when he spit the raise out? He spit the raise out on son. Okay. Okay, best reggae albums. Okay, this is a family show. This is a family show. Mike Tyson, Eddie Murphy. Now imagine, imagine if that was Eddie Murphy making that joke. I'm pretty sure that Will Smith would not have smacked the shit out of Eddie Murphy like that. Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, kind of gangster. I, I, I know y'all don't notice. A lot of y'all young cats think Eddie Murphy's um, what's that fat that, that whatever he do um, that little fat suit he be wearing. <laughs> y'all think that's Eddie Murphy? Y'all don't know the real Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy kind of gangster. He would not. That wouldn't have ended the same way. 
Anyway, let's see. Uh, okay, some food. Okay. Anyway, who this? One of the Wahlbergs? Well, my man, Uncle Vin Rock. Okay. Anyway, so this is how you... Somebody got a, you got a, is that an old suit? Well, that's a real old lady. I thought that was an old suit. She out here getting it. Okay. Anyway, so this is how your Instagram is going to look. Look at that. Is that a mountain lion? That little dog went to smoke, though. But he went to smoke because of that glass. <laughs> that glass was... That mountain lion... That mountain lion looked like, oh, a free, free meal, right? This is free lunch? Okay. DJ Khaled out here. Okay, now this is the cutest shit on the planet. This is the this is this is what I like to see. Anyway, okay, okay. My man Smack with his cake ass. Anyway, so this is how your uh, Instagram is gonna look. Okay, 120 hertz refresh rate. Okay, family shout. This is a family shout. Gotta keep it moving. Okay, the cheeks. It's too much. It's too much cheeks. All right, I'm, uh, it's, it's a lot of cheeks. All right, so this is how your um 120 hertz refresh rate is gonna look. <laughs> All right, <laughs> all right, fellas, that's the name too. For if you want to see some cheeks, go to that Instagram right there. Thank me later. Anyway, RDA regular daily activities, no issues. Okay, don't get, don't get caught up with the Exynos versus Snapdragon. It's gonna run, they're gonna run the same. Okay, they run, they're gonna run run the same. They're going to feel like mid-range Android phones, okay? I would not not buy this just because of the processor. It's going to run like a mid-range Android phone. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy A53 a major, major go. And for 450 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. This is the phone right here that's going to work on all your carriers. Build quality, not the best. Okay, not the best build quality, not the most smoothest and responsive OS in the market, but it works. Okay, the camera's decent. The bat, the camera's decent. Actually, the camera's actually good. The battery is great. Okay, as far as the processor, it's decent. But the best part about this phone is it's gonna work on all your carriers, and you're gonna get 5G. All right, so if you're in an area that has 5G and you're paying for 5G, it doesn't make any sense to go and get a real Mi phone or to get a Red Mi phone or a Xiaomi phone just because you're going to have a little bit more better specs, but you're not going to have 5G. You want that 5G if you live in a 5G area, get a phone like this and take advantage of it. You see, I got my live wallpapers always on display, live lock screens, you know, all of the Samsung ecosystem on deck. Anyway, so this is the Galaxy A53 5G. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And also, let me know y'all thoughts on the Chris Rock, Will Smith situation. I'm curious to know what y'all thought about it. You can write a long paragraph if you want. I got time to read all of it. What, what, how do y'all think Will Smith handled it? How do y'all think Chris Rock handled it? What would you have done if it was you and your wife? Was it the most funniest thing you've ever seen in, in TV history? Let me know. Anyway, Galaxy A53, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see I hold them down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls. Close your eyes and bitch you broke. It's your boy Floss I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. I won't.
everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money made all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.